Hey guys, do not think studying is something that you have to do on your own. Studying with a group of friends can be a really, really great and effective tool. There are loads of different ways that studying with your friends can really, really help your revision. Maybe one of your friends really, really understands reacting masses, and maybe you really, really understand empirical formula. Well then get together and teach each other what you know. The most effective way of making sure that you know something properly is can you explain it well to somebody else and get them to understand it properly as well. And what's really, really great is if your friend asks you difficult questions and you're kind of like, oh, I don't know, and then maybe you try and work out the answer yourself, that is fantastic revision for the both of you. And you don't just have to do this in pairs. Maybe get together with a group of like three, four. I wouldn't go much beyond five because then it would just descend into gossipness. Um, but just a group of people, maybe divide up topics and then say next week we are going to get back together and you are going to teach us about cells and you are going to teach us about currents in parallel circuits and you are going to teach us about pH equations, okay? Divide up the topics and then come back and teach each other different things. This way you don't have the massive, massive burden of loads and loads of things to do. You only have to focus on doing one thing and then let everyone else help you with all the other things. Now this is really only going to work if you're not shy with your friends. If you're like worried about asking questions or looking silly in front of them, then it's not really going to work. Because you have to be able to admit when you don't know something. And then hopefully someone else in your study group will know that and can help you out with it. Now this doesn't just have to be in person as well. You can also do this via your app or chosen communication. So you can set up a WhatsApp group and then maybe invite, again keep it small because we don't want to send it into gossip, so I'll say maximum five people. And every day some, everybody has to upload a fact. Okay, so that every day you're just getting five facts about science or maths or French or whatever. Okay, and that's it. That's all that's allowed on that, that group. You can have your gossip in your other WhatsApp groups, but just for this one particular group, your study group, all that is allowed is uploaded is facts. And then every day you get five different facts from five different people. And again, this is a great way of dividing up the revision so that the whole burden isn't all on you. The other people are helping you out with it as well. Because your friends might know stuff that you've forgotten or you've skipped over, or they found it in the textbook and have forgotten it from the lesson, which was at the beginning of year nine, and you can just upload it as their fact for the day. So that way you're getting short, sharp revision. You can just look at it and you can scroll backwards before your exams and have a look at all of the facts as revision. Now if you don't want to divide up the topics between people or set up a WhatsApp group, you can all go and do some work together. So get together a group of people that say, you know, my house, Thursday night, we're gonna do this exam paper. Make sure everyone comes with a copy of the exam paper and then just sit there and do it. And if anyone doesn't understand a question, they can go, oh, does anyone, can anyone explain this bit to me? So you're not on your own, because sometimes when you're doing a paper and you don't understand it, it can feel really isolating, really lonely, and you don't want to, to or you don't have anything to ask, or you don't know who to ask, and you're kind of like stuck. But if you're all doing the paper at the same time, and you go, I'm stuck on this one, someone will explain it to you, the different person might get stuck on that one, and you might be able to explain it to them, okay? So it's a really, really great way of helping each other with revision, dividing up the load of revision, and stopping our revision feeling so isolating. Um, good luck guys, I hope this little study video helped you. Remember, this is just one video in a massive, massive long list of videos to help you revise.